about a top robotics company in Japan this week. Four robots being developed for military applications killed 29 humans in the lab. And they did it by shooting what he called metal bullets. I didn't know there was any other kind. The scariest part is that lab workers deactivated two of the robots, took apart the third, but the fourth robot began restoring itself and somehow connected to an orbiting satellite to download information about how to rebuild itself even more strongly than before. And this, this next sentence, is a, this is a quote, I'm, I'm writing this down, I've been doing this for years. This is serious shit, Linda, but you're never going to hear about this. Healthcare professionals have said to me, if you think COVID is bad, when it comes to climate change, you ain't seen nothing yet. It's the grandmother of all health threats. COVID and climate change are compounding each other, and they're adding pressures on already weak health systems and staff. And it's why business as usual is not an option. And it's why now we need to truly have health at the centre of all our policies, energy, transport, agriculture, water and food. You have a small elite that um, pushes things in its own interests, even if it doesn't benefit the vast majority of the population. This has happened so many times previously in history, and it's probably going to happen again. Um, the One of the biggest dangers to the planet today is this technological utopia because probably for the elite it will work if bad comes to worse and when the flood comes 
the scientists will build a Noah's Ark for the elite, leaving the rest to drown, the rest of the people and then the rest of the, of the ecosystem. But they are likely to be able to construct this technological Noah's Ark, which is probably what much of the elite is, is counting on.